Hi, I'm Dee, and I have trichotillomania. It's January 6th, uh, 2012, and this is my first trick video that I'm making because I've seen a lot of other people do video blogs on their trick, and it's been about the most helpful thing for me out of any resource that I've found, which has gotten me to a hefty day six pull free. Um... I am 27 years old and I live in the southwestern United States and I have been pulling out my hair since I was 15. So for about 12 or 13 years. Um, and I'm just now coming to terms with the fact that I have a condition that's not my fault. Um, it's not just a bad habit that I haven't been able to quit for half my life. <laughs> It's actually something going on there. So, um, yeah. Let's see. I can show you guys my hair before too much time passes. Um, I hope that you can see it in this light. Uh, this is some of my short, very thin spots that are right above my bangs. Um, right here. And another spot is up here where it's very, very thin all the way through here. And this is not the worst that it's ever looked in my life. Um, I've had uh, bald, small bald, bald spots and more thin spots and I've pulled my whole forehead into like a, I don't know, an inch back. I had a really big forehead that year. Um, but this is what it looks like now. And I'd like to keep making videos and showing you guys the progress because I am completely determined to beat Trick in 2012. Um, so let's see. Yeah, what else? I don't have I don't have um, health insurance, so I've never been diagnosed, uh, and I don't think that that's important to me. But it is important to get help and seek resources, and a big, big, big one is just honestly seeing all of the beautiful, strong, brave other people who have put their videos out here to help people. So I did want to leave you guys with a few tips on this video, even though I'd like to keep making more over time um, with more specific tips, but some of the things that have worked for me over the last six days. And hopefully I'll will keep them going until I've got six years. Number one, I've been writing every day about it. I write how I feel about it. I write what my goals are. Um, and sometimes I write affirmations like, uh, I don't know, I will be trick, blah, 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 blah. Um, but that really helps. I write three pages. You could write half a page, one page. Um, but just, it helps keep it in your mind and keep it a central focus. Another thing that helps um, keep it a central focus of my day is watching videos on YouTube, other people's videos that they've made, and doing research, just searching information about it, or message boards, or joining some of the online communities, um, and just reading other people's struggles around it um, really helps me sort of keep it conscious because it's such an unconscious um, or suppressed because we're so ashamed of it behavior. So that helps keep it as a positive thing all the time. Um, another thing has been exercise. Moving around every day, whether it's going to the gym or just going for a walk or just doing push-ups when I feel really antsy, like on the living room rug or sit-ups. Um, I tried doing sit-ups when I was reading the other day and it actually worked. Sitting up in the book. I might put that in a little skit in the next video. Um, but moving is, is really important for it. It's, um, uh, keeps less nervous energy in your life and it's really good for your body and it helps your chemicals and your hormones level out. Um, another thing that I've been doing is cutting down sugar. I haven't cut it out. Um, I probably should and I may come to that point, but it has helped to reduce the amount of sugar. So obviously... Uh, soda pop out the window, um, sweets in general, uh, you, fruit sweetened stuff and fruit is not so bad. There are other sweeteners, but just generally kind of trying to curb my taste for sweets 
that really helps because um, sweets give me nervous energy and mood swings. So, um, another one is uh, giving myself little body massages. So little rubs like this, rubbing your muscles, feeling them. Um, and it's cool because it's kind of a manic activity. You can do it like this, but it's nice for your body <laughs> instead of this kind of manic activity. So if you just catch yourself here, bring your hand down and start to rub your shoulders and say, I don't need to pull right now. Um, deep breathing. I haven't been so good about the meditation, but just breathing and getting yourself present. So for a few moments a day, like not doing anything and just trying to clear your mind and letting your body settle and just saying, I'm right here. I'm right here. Um, and I do it by noticing the breath. So you just sit quietly and close your eyes and just try to keep your mind on your in-breath and out-breath. And you may not have success, but it's starting to train your mind in relaxing and being in the present moment, which is really good for being aware of not only when you are pulling, but when you're about to pull. And then there's, there's a whole lot of stuff about being aware of your triggers um, when you pull or what kind of feelings you're pulling uh things that you're thinking when you pull um, and you can keep a journal on that stuff and I'll go into all this more later but just being aware just trying to be more aware of what you're doing um, I also have painted my nails and this is a good thing to do when you're watching TV as well as knitting boondoggle what's the one I've been doing latch latch hook I'm making a latch hook unicorn rug you know whatever works so, um, yeah, those are just a few random things. I know this is getting kind of long, but I just really um, want you guys to know that you can do it. And that is the most important thing is deciding and believing that you can do it. So decide right now. Or if you're not ready, write about it. Tell somebody about it. Get there. But know that it's not your fault. You are beautiful, handsome, gorgeous, amazing, whole, and that something is happening in your body that you haven't been able to control. But there are things that you can do. So, Wah! anyways, I hope that was helpful for you guys. You all are amazing. I really do believe in you. Please leave comments if you like. Um, and I'm going to make some more videos going more specifically into this stuff and my journey. So, Mwah! lots of love to you guys. Day six.